Hi everyone, this is Audrey from The Creator's Attic. Hi, welcome. Welcome to all my subscribers that I have had recently subscribe and thank you for coming back, all of my subscribers that have been around for a while. Thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Today I wanted to cover a topic that I uh, hear a lot of people asking about and it's um, how to add texture to a journal page. How do I decorate a journal page? How do I use older ephemera in my journal pages? Um, <clears throat> what can I do to be unique and different? Um, what are some techniques that I can use um, to create a page? Um, so I am currently working in a journal um, of my own and I'm uh, making it more of a vintage journal and I came across an idea and I really wanted to run it by you all and so I hope that you'll stick with me and that this will turn out to be something very exciting for you and that you'll learn something new um, if not maybe you'll just get inspired for your own ideas uh, okay so anyway <clears throat> what I want to do is I just I'm gonna move this pretty stuff out of the way and I just was going to show you, first of all, on this first page in my journal, I have not done the cover or anything yet. Um, I just decided I wanted to just lay this gorgeous lace down and just have a lace page that's just so pretty when you open it up. Um, and so I uh, put this down and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet um, but it adds so much interest beauty and texture to this vintage looking journal I'm doing so this is what I was going to do I wanted to do something with the lace and um, it is adhered and I was going to show you how I did that and um, I just really wanted to get another page going and use another technique and put some stuff on it so here we go <clears throat> um i use all coffee dye um all coffee dye pages this time because i am just going to cover them with uh, if i want to use other paper and all i'm just going to cover them with the other paper i had this ready to go um, and I just decided to, that instead of adding other pages, I was just going to go with it. So it is blank and it is here for the decorating. <laughs> so anyway, I'm pick, going to pick a page and I, I have a lace page there. So maybe I want to do something uh, on a different page. I think I will do something on maybe this page in my second signature. Okay. So what I did was I had this lace. Um, it is actually like almost a lace material and it's just this pretty pink, but it is just this, um, it's just so pink. It doesn't look very vintage. It looks very dainty and like it could be old, but it's, I don't think it's that old. I think it's a vintage, but it's not very vintage. So what I did was I took this same lace and I cut some of it off and I sprayed it with coffee coffee dye, some very concentrated coffee dye, and I came up with this. So here's the difference. Um, I wanted to keep the pink, but I wanted to add a vintage look and knock off some of this pastel pink. So that's what I did, and that's how I did it. I just sprayed it with uh, sprayed it with my concentrated coffee dye. I bundled it up like this, and I um, made sure it was damp, but not too damp. And so instead of st sticking it down in the coffee dye and um, and letting it soak it up, I just um, I found that it's not as stiff if I just sprayed it with the coffee dye. And what I did was um, just to make sure that it got all up, um, over the lace, I stuck it under water and squeezed it out. Then I laid it out on um, uh, something porous and I blow dried it. I have a heat gun, but uh, the blow dryer was closest. So um, anyway, that's how this happened. <clears throat> so if you'd like to see any techniques on dyeing things with coffee dye, please leave it in the comments. I can always do a video on it. Okay, so 
This is how I did. What I'm going to do is lay the base down and I want to do this entire page and this pretty, um, this pretty lace that I dyed. So what I'm going to do is I, I made it a little bit bigger than my book and a little bit wider. Okay, and I do want it to stretch to the edge of the page. And so this is the, um, this is the secret to getting it down without having any bleed through of glue show through because um but yet getting the fabric to adhere completely to the page um a lot of people would think that you know fabric fix would be a good idea and and it's not a bad idea but for this purpose um i want to show you something else um i know that because fabric fix does paper to paper fabric to paper and fabric to fabric and so many other amazing things but i am going to pull out my trusty permanent scotch create multi-purpose glue stick this also will adhere fabric to paper paper to paper and fabric to fabric it's just it goes on smooth if you put on a smooth coat it dries quickly and it doesn't ooze all through like the fabric fix um, could do and it's so easy to spread and it's just this is I use this more than any other kind of glue so let's let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to do here <clears throat> let me I want to grab a piece of coffee paper or just some paper that I'm not really interested all that interested in obviously just plain cheap so it's here to grab and I'm going to put it behind my journal page so I don't get any glue um, on my on on my other part of my journal. Then I'm going to take my glue stick and roll it up, and then take my hand and I'm going to go. I'm going to gently but but generously put. Um, a coat of glue like you're seeing me do um, all over this page and I'm going around the edges first and I'm going back and forth because I do want a good bit of glue to make it stick but I also um, you don't want gunks of glue on there but you do want to make sure that it sticks everywhere so you don't have any bunching up uh, any fabric bunching up after you glue it down and you can go back and glue around the edges if they pop up um, or anything like that, but just completely coat this page, uh, the, the page, and that's what I did here. Okay, and then I, this stuff doesn't dry too quickly, but it will dry kind of fast for this purpose, um, being out on the page like this, so I'm going to go ahead and take, and it has a trim, uh, like a little bit of a ruffle at the bottom, so I'm going to, let's see, which way is up? Oh, goodness. Okay, I see it's drying, and then I, uh, I did, was just making sure this was a this side of the fabric. Okay, the lace I wanted to go down. Okay, so I'm going to put these lovely trim, and I'm going to let it hang out just a little bit off the bottom. And then I'm going to go all the way over with my fabric or my lace fabric and I'm going to smooth it out like this and it has such a lovely texture to it okay now just to add to um, this won't wrinkle as much as a wet white glue will um, but I'm going to uh, do something else really quickly to it I'm going to grab my brayer and you I know you can use this for a lot of things, but different things with stamping and stuff, but I'm going to use it to roll over my page just to even out this, uh, evenly distribute this glue and this, make sure the fabric adheres well to the whole page. And I can't really feel the glue underneath this, and you can kind of see it, it's a little shiny underneath it but when it dries it won't be all shiny like that okay now I'm going to remove my paper from underneath it and 
you'll see I do have a, a little edge popping up here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more glue on it, pop it down. And if you see them come up like that, you can kind of check and um, go back over. But you may want to just give it a minute to see if it sticks. Um, I mean, if it just needs a little bit, a minute or two to stick. So while that's sticking, I'm going to grab my fabric scissors and I'm going to cut off the extra that I don't need over here. And I'm going to do it oh, very, very carefully. That's still adhering. I'm going to cut along the edge of my page. I'm not going to cut extremely close because I really don't want to cut my page. Um, but I do, and if there's a little overhang, that's okay too. Um, if you don't want like a rough like edge here, you can always add some trim um, to, to this part of the paper and make it, you know, have a more of a polished off look if you want. But I'm going to do all that. I'm going to take it up and I'm going to cut this off. Now I have this pretty lace if I want to use it somewhere else. Okay. And then I'm going to flip this page over so I can see where I have this stops on the page and I am going to cut this part. You can also put some trim at the top if you don't want a rough, rough edge, but some of it's sticking off, but you can go back and trim that, but you just really want to make sure you don't cut the page. So I can go back and trim, see these little bits off. Um, later, and I wanted these hanging over. It's just a really pretty look. Um, okay, there's a little bit more overhang than I want here. And what I think I may do is uh, grab my my uh, snippets. These are Fiskar snippets, and they are they they're very sharp, but they get in um, to, to smaller little places, and you squeeze them. And they're much better, easier on the hand than pulling the scissors apart. So um, I'm going to take these and I'm going to go in here and I do some of my more detailed stuff with my Fiskar snippets. Um, I, people call them different things. I just call mine snippets. <laughs> and I'm going to go in here and I'm not going to worry fuss too much with this. Um, on the page because I really want to get back I can do that later but I want to get back to you guys and get back to what we were we were doing which is creating this page so now I have this this lovely page it is just the texture is wonderful um, so I've gone through some of my uh, <clears throat> some of my ephemera and I have oh goodness it is important to put the glue stick back on <laughs> top back on it okay so please excuse me I still am getting over being sick I feel much better today um, thank you for everyone who's been concerned and been checking on me and your prayers and all of the good things that you've done for me while I've been sick so back to this what I'm going to do is I have this really pretty um, cardboard piece I, I guess it may have been an advertising card but it says autumn 1882 and has this um, Victorian uh, girl on it with flowers and it looks like this was supposed to be in a tambourine shape but um this is kind of thick so I wanted to put it to the page about like this and I'm my idea was kind of to see if I could adhere part of it down, but then still be able to tuck some things in here and use it as a tuck. So um, I brought along some of this trim that I have with these lovely flowers and they match well and I'm, I will be using those as well. So I'm going to go leave this here. I'm going to gra grab my Fabrifix. And I'm not really worried about this sticking because I can't even feel the glue through this um, stuff. So um, 
I really, this is a way to celebrate old ephemera, and since the back's already, I guess it was adhered to maybe someone's scrapbook or something, uh, it's already been pulled up. And the part I'm going to do is to add a little tuck, is to just glue around this part, like this, with the fabric fix, but be able to add a little tuck space here, and it would be so cool if you could just make maybe make some of your own stationery or stick some pictures in here or what have you but i'm just going to go around the edge here with my fabric fix i'm going to put a generous amount let me make sure i went up as far as i wanted to okay so i'm just kind of doing this in not quite a half circle and I'm going to lay it down where I want it. And I'm putting it a little bit away from the edge of the page. And I'm just going to stick it down for a minute. I may actually just rub over it with my brayer. I have, I have discovered that I absolutely love this brayer. Oops, she moved. That's good, because I want to move her up here a little bit. I absolutely love this brayer. I use it for so many different things that it's not even really supposed to be used for. Okay, so she is deciding, uh, yeah, she's starting to stick, but I want to let it um, go down just a little bit more. And thankfully, Fabrifix does do the fabric, the fabric, fabric to paper, blah, 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 as you've heard it probably a million times from lots of other folks, if not from me. <coughs> Excuse me, let me grab something to drink real quick. <coughs> okay. <coughs> All right. Uh, so I think that what I may do is, is use some of this gorgeous, they almost look like appliques, don't they? And maybe just put them around the edge. And not only would this solidify this um this down as helping it be a tuck more but it would also add some more interest and really bring out some of the colors in this page um or, or in this um the pink and you know just really bring out all this stuff here you get it <laughs> so um i'm just the part is now just to decide where i want to what where i want to cut it off so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut here and just let it up and then I'm going to play with it a little bit more. So I'm going to cut very, let me get you here, very close to this other one. And I think I got this trim at, it's not vintage, I believe I got it at oh, Joanne's. Joanne's craft store so um, kudos to them for carrying such gorgeous trim okay so maybe I could do something like this I may not I may cut this part off and I can manipulate with this trim a little bit to be kind of round I may only want to do these so let's see what let's see uh, so I want it this way and maybe cut this part off and do it like this. I want to make sure I kind of get it around the the the, the thing here and um, without it being too much. Okay, so that may be a little bit too much. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this end off, cut this flower off, and we are going to come back and revisit this, this, this flower. So, I'm going to cut this. And that's what I love about this kind of trim, because they look like gorgeous appliques. See how it looks on the back? It's just... Oh, I was just so excited when I saw it. I use it so much. You can just cut a flower off and just use it wherever on so many different things and i have done so that now i'm excited to use it in my my journal 
I'm wondering if maybe I just need one flower here. And but I, I don't know. I still think I kind of want to use these two. So that may be a little much to use all of that. So let's kind of do it. I'm going to all right, I'm going to take this flower off. I'm like slowly taking away flowers. So that's okay. Okay. And see how this works. If I don't like this, I can pull it off and revamp. Okay. I just, I really want to cover up some of the rawness of this card, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to just overkill. And it may even be better for me to separate these from each other and glue them separately together and they can look like they're connected or they don't have to be connected. So let's try this and see first. Okay, I have that. I need to get some of the green off. So how are you guys doing out there? Um, are you guys getting a lot of crafting done? Are you getting your spring journal stuff ready? I am... I'm thinking, you know, flowers and things um, with this journal, I guess with the colors too, I'm thinking it, but I'm also, <laughs> I'm also thinking about doing a second journal for um, spring. I'm just having two going at one time. Okay, so I have this and I know I like that there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on the, um, on the, the actual now I'm going to call it an applique, but you know what I mean, trim or whatever. And I'm not going to put it in the middle, maybe a little bit in the middle, but I don't want it to ooze out too much. But I do want this to stick. So I, and I have a baby wipe standing by for the ooey gooey of the fat fix. Okay, so I want to be careful where I set it down. Okay, and this is what we have. Okay, so, whoop. okay, all right, it is sticking. It's really pretty like that. Um, maybe I could just do another flower up here. Maybe that would be nice, or this flower, and maybe leave some space between my arms all in the way. Okay, I don't, let me go back to this. That's the thing, is sometimes you just have to try things out and see what you like. I think I actually like that. So I'm gonna just use this, we'll have a, even though I'm not really working in threes, I have three leaves on here. You know, I try to work in three, do things in, in um, threes, fives, sevens, things like that, because it's just uh, known that in the art world, and I'm not artistically, I, I do have a Bachelor of Arts, but um, it's not in art, it's in music. But I did have to learn about certain things, but I am not an artist. So, um, not the artist in the sense of um, painting, sculpting, that kind of thing. Um, so, all right. Let's see where we wanna put this, maybe here? Yeah, okay. Move it down a little bit, maybe. Okay, and this will Maybe I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Okay, and this will hold, help hold down this uh, page a little bit more. I'm wondering, or this little tuck, wondering if maybe I should do a little flower over here as well, but that kind of takes away from, maybe if I flipped it, you know. Yeah, I mean, she has flowers here, and so let me show you close up what we have so far, okay? So now I can go back and add my ephemera later, but I'm gonna let this dry. So now I can do some, I, I'm, I can come back and stick my ephemera in later. Um, but what do I wanna do up here? Um, I could leave it plain. I could add um, another lace border. Um, 
And I think all I'm going to do with this page is make it a tuck for things. And I'm not going to load it down with ephemera yet. Um, but because I don't want to bulk up my journal too fast. But see how this will be able to slide things in and out. Okay. So um, let's see if there's something we can do to the top of the page. I have a couple of ideas. I'm going to go over to my lace drawer. you over here but um, I can't quite get y'all in that little nook and I don't want to take this off. All right here's one of my drawers that I have that has um, <clears throat> one of my drawers with uh, some white trim in it that's a little bit um, and I think a white may contrast really well with this so that would be pretty possibly so see sometimes you just have to stick it on and try it and just leave it for a second and see what you think and then you can take it off before you commit and you can try something else so maybe not quite so stark white maybe an off-white so it's just not super blindingly white this is kind of a little bit more of an off-white instead of just an in-your-face white that's pretty I like that but I think I'm still digging the other one so I'll put that one aside I'm digging it I'm digging it Ooh. okay let's try this this is white but it may show have enough to show through I'm trying to stand up and do this and I've got all this definitely way okay let me move this over without knocking over my soda okay so i have that which is not quite as wide that may be a little bit more um, what of what i want with um with this yeah that's too thick or too wide um so i may i like that one let me go back and look at this one I like that one too, but I'm just wondering, it could overhang a little bit up here and cut away from that raw edge. You know, I mean, when I put the things in, tuck the things in here, I mean, I really don't want to be, okay, so I'm going to go back. It's either or would be nice. Okay, this one just to me, just, it is, a, it is quite white but this is still a, a vintage lace and I have other options but I I for the sake of doing this on on camera and not dragging it out forever um, this was not pre-planned um, what I was going to finish this page off with so okay I have the flowers that kind of go in tune with the flowers but we don't want to just flower it out you know and since I used lace here I was thinking more lace here instead of a crochet but we can pop in here and just take a peek at what we have um, in here here's some a uh, little bit more off-white trim and I ran out of pens the other day and didn't and used a paper clip and that is just like not the best idea. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have that. That would be nice. Oh, what do I want to do? This is lacy enough to look. Okay. Actually, I am sold on this. I am just going to go with this and I'm going to leave a little maybe just a tish of an overhang to get rid of that raw edge so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut off um, leave a little bit on the edge here and I'm going to cut this off here and this is not vintage lace it looks very vintage but it's not it is um, this is two inches wide and it's two yards it's polyester and so it, i got it from it's merchant 41 so this is hobby lobby's brand poly poly vintage, vintage, bleh, 
poly venice lace trim in ivory so now i am going to do the same thing that i did before i'm going to just i may just put the fabric fix on the page here and do it like this and i know my arm is in the way i'm trying to stand up so um i can maybe reach a little bit more and i'm just gonna kind of smooshy it down with my finger a little bit and i don't want to come down too much because i can always tuck my under with my glue but i don't want excess glue so okay so i'm going to come here and i'm going to come out just a little bit away from my book and i think that that is going to be plenty of glue and i can trim this excess off over here Wah! okay and so let's do that okay this is starting to adhere nicely all right so we have this so far and i'm not putting it all the way up to the edge of my page here i'm leaving a little bit of room because i don't want it to like make it um, harder to like open the page okay so we have this and what we can do is if we we have some of this stuff and we want to glue it down we can just come back in and like maybe put some on our finger and i'm really gonna I'm really actually fine with this, but I just, I want to get this little bit on the edge and here and do that. And I would rather have a little bit that is not sticking um, than have that Fabrifix goo all down here on my page. Okay, so I have this, this little guy. I think I want you to stick just a little bit. So come in here oops and you want to come up too so we will see if we can just get all of you down sometimes um i don't know if what you do do you ever talk to your stuff you're like okay buddy you need to stay where you are or you know i talk to myself in the craft room no one answers unless it's me answering myself but <laughs> some people just uh some people do that all right, so I'm gonna let this dry a second. I'm gonna move it out of the way. And <clears throat> I can always, I'm gonna cut this little bit off. All right, I'm gonna sit back down. Sit down, Missy. Okay, and I'm gonna flip this over. And this page is really not that heavy. I mean, even it looks a little bit heavy, but it's really not. Um, it's really not heavy it's just the glue once the glue dries it will not be heavy at all okay so there we go boom there you go there you go little fella and I have this let's cut a little bit more of this trim off here I am left-handed and but I do use my scissors with right-handed a uh, good bit of the time so Sometimes I'm just get confused with, let me move that down just a little bit. And this, the fabric fix will give you a, a little bit to move, move it around to. Okay, so we have this. So here we go. We have this and we can tuck um, uh, photos and things in here or um, what have you. I have a, you know, I'm not gonna leave this in here because, but I don't, it's too pretty to hide, but. Um, here is a page so we have this page and i'm gonna before you know i'm just gonna let it dry and everything and if i have a little rolly uppy thing over here let me use my brayer to make stick these down okay so now i have this up here and i don't want to put anything really thing out any other thing up there i don't think because i really I guess I could, if I wanted to put this here, I could the catty corner kind of offset, but then it leaves this over here and it draws your eye over to this side. So basically I think what I'm going to do is let this be the focal point of my page and let this just be something up here that just finishes and polishes this page off. So if it's curling up just a little bit like this, um, you can just lay, it'll lay flat, just, um, Put something on it uh, maybe my little yeah sewing tin here for a minute and I'm gonna leave it at that 
and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like. My um, Etsy store is also called The Creator's Attic. There's a link um, in my on my YouTube channel. I have a lovely ephemera kits. They are chocked full of stuff, and I have lots of new stuff from the 1800s that are in there. It's just, and um, I've gotten several new, um, or actually more than several, a lot more stuff that from all the way from the 18, like 1860 all the way through um, like the 60s. 1860s so like a hundred year span there from 1860 to 1960s I mean I have the stuff and I have so much variety and so many different things there's so much history to be to be um to be had um in to gain in these ephemera kits so check out them out if you'd like I also have a lot of other things in my store to help you with journals I make journals um blank journals for you so if you don't want to tie do the coffee dyeing or you don't want to do your own sew your own pages in etc and you just want to get right to it i have that explore my shop please um and if you're not subscribed please be uh subscribed by clicking on the subscribe the little bell there will notify you whenever i have a new video so take care everyone uh stay well uh, and if you're sick, I hope you feel much better very soon. I know a lot of us are sick, so, or have been sick. So, anyway, take care of yourselves, y'all, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.